for the volume of a right circular cone. Volume equals one third pi r squared h. If we substitute in these known values, a height of 10 and a radius of 8, then we get 640 pi over 3, like cubic units, whatever they are. Uh, but our directions were not to find the volume by using the known formula, but rather to use the volume by slicing. And volume by slicing means we're going to integrate from a to b for a of x dx, where a of x represents the area of a, trip, a typical cross section, which in our case is a circle. So you could picture a circle here. If we could find a formula for the area of that circle, we could have another circle down here. And eventually what we're trying to do when we integrate from A to B is add up the areas of all these circles are piling up on top of each other. And we want, and that integration is what actually does the addition. So the question is what kind of formula can we come up with for the area of one of these typical circles? Well, this distance right here is we could call H and this distance right here, we could call R. And that little red triangle with dimensions H and R is similar to the triangle, the green one, 10 by 8. So it must be true that the corresponding sides are in proportion. Why are they similar, by the way? By angle, angle. We've got a right angle and we've got a common angle right here at the vertex. <clears throat> so it must be true that 10 is to 8 as h is to r. And I'm going to use that to solve for r in terms of h. Uh, I can see that if I cross multiply and then divide by 10, I get 8h over 10 or 4 fifths h. So the area of this typical circle right here depends on how high or how far it is from the vertex of the cone. It's four fifths of whatever that distance is. And I mean, that's what the radius is. So the radius or the area of that little circle, A of, a of H is going to be pi times the radius squared. But the radius is four fifths H. So there's four fifths H, the quantity squared, is 16, well, if I forgot the H, 16 20 fifths pi H squared. And that's what I'm going to use in this formula right here. And I'm going to be adding up all these circles from 0 to 10. So 0 to 10, the 20, 16 20 fifths pi I can put out front. That's a constant. And then I've got h squared, dh, if you want. And so the antiderivative of h squared is one third h cubed. I want to evaluate that from 0 to 10. I still have this 16 pi over 25 out front. And if I substitute 10 for H and 0 for H, I get a thousand thirds times 16 pi over 25. And this 25 goes into a thousand 40 times. 40 times 16 is 640 pi over 3. Okay, cubic units, and that's the same we got using the formula. Now, you don't have to use volume by slicing. That's what we just did here. We could also picture, just for the heck of it, 
suppose we had this triangle right here where this was the point 10, 8, and we revolve this region around the x-axis using the disk method. You could do that too. You get the same answer. There you go. Hope that helped. Post a comment if you need any clarification.